Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but that's already salt building up. It's a dry, uh, hot day today. Well, kind of warm. It's cold, but the sun's out. It's pretty bright. It's pretty bright, and uh, and I want you to hear this sound. I don't think I hear that. Okay, it's grinding. It is grinding. It seems like when it adds to the salt, uh, it's definitely uh, giving it giving it a harder opp opportunity to spin. So I think what I needed to do is added more grease. I didn't have. I put very very little back. I had put more, took it all off. Then I added very little. The last time I put it on, I had a lot, and it was just grease. Okay, so it was just grease and. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's squeaking, so I'm going to stop using it. As you can see, the sand accumulating on the side. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so I'm going to stop it. Okay, so like I tell everybody, when you have something like this going on, don't use it. Wait till you get home, rinse it out, service it, and um, then after it's tried again, see what happens. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, uh, more grease on this thing. But it seems like it's already too dry. Okay, yeah, I just uh, sprayed WD-40. We're just at the beach, but um, I wanted to see if a WD-40 would make any difference. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, I just threw it about three times, four times. It is smooth, makes no noise, but uh, I noticed this is a three ounce room. What I was using it was uh, um, a five ouncer. So I want to try the five ouncer next. Okay, here's the five ouncer BG uh, 4000. So a quick test. Okay, uh, looks good. Doesn't make any sound. Uh, it does sound um, quiet. I hear more of the braid than anything. But um, the BG uh, 5000, I mean 4000, it's working good. It's not having that squeaky uh, problem anymore. Here's the salt water, so good about a total of six casts. All right, next is the uh, BG 5000. And uh, what I did here, the I put WD-40 on the actual line. It was way too dry, it was, it's getting old. So what I'm going to do is going to reverse it later on from the inside out, outside in. And I'm going to test this out. And I put also WD-40 on the roller bearing just for a quick fix. Okay. I want to see how it's going to perform. So let's see how it goes. Wow, this uh, WD-40 is actually really working. I am really, really surprised, man. I mean, uh, it makes very little noise. I, I couldn't even hear anything. There were a few moments where I heard like a couple of scratches and it would stop. And I'm bringing in this thing fast with a five ouncer. Okay, so um, wow, the WD-40 actually does work on this. Mind you, there's still a grease inside. But with that grease, it, apparently it dried up with the salt. It was very little of it, but when I use a WD-40, it uh, totally changed the the performance on this uh, the BG 5000 here I've been throwing it all the way over there I don't know if you can see that uh, it's actually past that pole right there I don't know like I said um, I'm guessing about 100 yards I passed it so it's pretty damn far so anyhow I'm gonna keep doing it this is like fifth time using a five ouncer and it's working out really well really really well I'm very very surprised so I'm gonna do it again wow I am just amazed <laughs> I can't believe the WD-40 did that much work I didn't do anything I didn't take it apart I didn't clean it I didn't do anything you can see earlier from the video at the beach it was scratching you can hear that sound but um I don't know if I can do it now but I can't hold the phone and I'm kind of afraid it's gonna fall right in here 
But this is all the seaweed that I got. <laughs> See this five ouncer? Having a lot of pressure on it. The same thing I'm using the, the BG4000 as well. I'm doing the same thing. So, yeah, son of a gun. This WD40 is working really well. I'm gonna keep throwing it. I'm gonna keep throwing it another 15 to 20 times. And I'm gonna see um, what the results are. This is salt water. There's no, there's hardly any grease in it. I put very little, a little uh, a precision uh, grease from Penn. And uh, you saw at the beach, it was making a scratching sound. It was grinding it. But as soon as I put on a WD-40 over here, it stopped. It totally stopped. So I'm gonna try about 15 more casts, maybe 20. And again, I'm ripping this thing through the water and putting so much pressure on it. It's not meant for that, but um, I mean the way I'm casting it, but I just want to test this out. All right, let's try it again. Okay, the five ounces is done. I'm gonna have to put eight ounces. I have an eight ounce on here because uh, I started hearing it only when I put an extreme amount of pressure. I can hear that grinding, but like I said, that's a ridiculous amount of work that I'm doing here but um, I need to find out I need to find out what's making it grind and how much pressure it takes to make that grinding sound and like I said the WD-40 is performing great I'm gonna find out with this one okay eight ounces yes it's performing still good but yeah it starts to get there it starts to get that grinding sound but I'm so happy that uh it's doing really well with the WD-40. Really, really well, the 5000. So, man, this is just a great thing. All right, I'm gonna pause this quick. I'm gonna try 10 ounces. All right, so when I got 10 ounces, <laughs> I haven't uh, lubed it up yet, but I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna do it another five casts, see how it handles. And yeah, this is for the storms that I use it for, but this is just running water, so I'm gonna try it out. Okay, yeah, sure enough, um, it seems like I put that much pressure, I can hear that grinding. And, and like I said, uh, when I looked into this uh, uh, roller, I, line roller, it had those scratches, and that scratches is what's, what's, what you're hearing. At least that's what I'm hearing. But WD-40 here, awesome. Hold on. All right, so what I'm going to do is just show you what I did. All I did was just lubricate it like this. And... Um, That was it. That's all I did. Okay, let me try this again. Okay, this VG is working well. It's working well with the five ouncer. Uh, it's already getting late. It's in the evening. It's already passed like about another three hours. And um, like I said, the line roller is working really well with the the um, the. the oil the WD-40 it's really really good I'm really surprised but I'm actually very happy and satisfied that that um, that uh, oil can really um, that spray can really take care of business with this when it comes to the uh, the line roller I don't know if I can show you but I'm gonna throw it and I'm gonna see if I can film it while it's rolling all right it's out there <laughs> I don't know if I can do this but I'm gonna try all right see that smooth very very smooth and I'm putting a lot of pressure I don't know if you can film I can't film the top at the same time but look at that it is pulling hard no sound remember this is a five ouncer this five ouncer is handling it but when you go heavier, I go, sometimes I have to go heavier, eight ounces up to 10 ounces, seven ounces, eight ounces, whichever. Um, smooth. 10W40 is working really well. I'm very satisfied with the results. Really, really well. You can see the line right here in the back. It has all that seaweed. It's packed with seaweed. Okay. 
All right. All right. Done for the day. And this is the results of the 10W40 on the BG5000 with the 5 ouncer. After three hours, still working well. And like I said, the um, the uh, the line roller is, is working well, but there is there is scratches on the um, on the metal collar that's inside. But that's okay. You know, like I said, uh, you can replace that, and it's still working fine. But if you need to replace it, want to replace it, I'm pretty sure it's going to start brand new, like you, like you've had it the first time. Nothing wrong with the um, the internals of this reel. So you know. Okay. Okay, I'm exhausted. No more for me. So yeah, it looks like it's working well. But um, like I said, uh, there is damage on these uh, the uh, metal collar. Both of these. Uh, like I said, I have this almost for five and a half months. Over five months. And um, I'm using a, uh, as you can see that, it's a 10 ouncer. And I am tired of throwing that thing. Then I use a five ouncer, then I use an eight ouncer. You can see this, eight ounces, and I tried three ounces. Okay, so wow, this thing's performing still well. But that's a quick fix, I think. If you have a problem with the, uh, the line roller on the BG 4000, 5000, or any series, um, I would say clean it up and put WD-40 on there. But these have grease and WD-40, not that synthetic that I was talking about. But it worked. Um, you can still hear grinding, but like I said, under, under, under heavy pressure, and at certain points, you can hear it. So um, it's working well. Um, so this is what I've been looking for and looking at, trying to figure out what's causing it. So more than likely, you're just probably gonna have to repair the, uh, the metal collars and maybe one of the, uh, the, um, the polytheramide uh, white collars that's uh, for the uh, line roller so anyways uh, I'll give you some more information about it and where to get them because I think I'm going to get them myself and uh, just for maintenance okay talk later see you on the next vid and subscribe to my channel if you like these videos so I can you can have more support and more help to see how we can maintain your reels especially the Daiwa uh, BG's all right have a good one